Easter. Happy Easter. After spending almost a week in Kona, we decided to spend our last day eating some great breakfast at the coffee shack and doing some shore snorkeling. The coffee shack was possibly one of our favorite morning and lunch meals, plus the desserts we got to go. We had to make sure we got a really great breakfast in because we planned to do a lot of snorkeling and swimming this day. The prices were pretty fair, but the view from the coffee shack is where it's at. I mean, this view is stunning. They serve breakfast and lunch. Olivia got French toast. I got a Benedict. Um, we also got a Benedict to split between the three of us, and Jeff got a sandwich. But this was a Hawaiian nut French toast, which was really great. And then we got pie to go to eat after we did all of our snorkeling. We headed over to Hananamu Bay. I know I probably botched that, but the snorkeling was out of this world. So I actually think that snorkeling is possibly the best I've done in my life. I know a lot of the tours go over to the Captain Cook Monument, which is great and everything, but... Being right from the shore, if you have a rental car, this place was just fantastic. I definitely saw more fish here than I did at Captain Cook, different schools of fish. Um, I will say it is tricky to get in and out, um, especially if it's a lower tide. So um, if you can't get yourself in and out of the water, AKA little kids, I would say like eight and above, this place is good. Um, I mean, I'm thick and Lord knows I got out of the water, but for little swimmers, this probably isn't the best spot, but I mean, it was amazing. Unfortunately, I miscommunicated with Jeff. I thought he said the GoPro was in the duffel with all the snorkel stuff. It was in his backpack, which did not make it down. Um, I'll link some video down here if I can't find some stock footage of the snorkeling here. I mean, it is phenomenal. Forgetting the, dr uh, forgetting the GoPro, but hopefully the drone makes up for it. Look how clear this water is it was just breathtaking i'm definitely getting a print of some of these drone shots from my house so beautiful and then of course it was dessert time and after snorkeling there's pie in the car we started with the coconut cream pie this is all from the coffee shack oh my gosh say that again Time. Which one are you trying first? Oh. Trust me. I'm letting everyone get their grubby hands out of it. <laughs> that coconut cream pie is legit. This is a mac nut pie. Okay. Alright, All right, mac nut. It's like pecan, but better. <laughs> Olivia, it's mac nut. Okay. That is not a bite. It's very hard. There you go. Impressive. Most impressive. But we're not a Jedi yet. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, I can't see my bite. These guys are savages here. I like coconut. Mmm. That is delicious. It's definitely better than pecan pie. So this last one is the passion fruit cheesecake. I mean, I saw this and saw the graham cracker on it. Jeff's apparently gonna feed his shirt first. <laughs> You're not a big cheesecake fan, but. No, it's good. Your thoughts? Mm, cool. All right, Jeffrey, you put that spoon in my mouth. <laughs> I really like that. I love passion fruit though, so. I would say my favorite was the mac nut. My favorite was the coconut. Then I would say the cheesecake, then the coconut. But I mean, they were all solid. Jeffrey, what's your ranking? Coconut, mac, cheesecake. What's yours? Coconut, mac, cheesecake too. <clears throat> wow. That is the appropriate ratio for a graham cracker crust. Everybody take note. 
After this amazing spot, we headed up to Beach 69 because it's Hawaii, which means beaches and more swimming. We went to this beautiful spot. It was absolutely amazing. There were facilities here, so if you're thinking about driving up there, there's some great facilities there. Keep in mind, it does go down to a one-lane road, but it was so beautiful. Just felt like it was plucked out of nowhere, and we actually saw some turtles while we were swimming in here. After lots of swimming, laying out in the sun, it was time to take a drive. We took a good 45 minute drive to the Fish and the Hog for some Hawaiian barbecue. They had some great poke as well. The banana cream pie was amazing. As you can see, Miss Olivia absolutely loved it. And this was gonna be our midway stop over point because we decided to also head out to YPO Valley Lookout to take a peek. It looked absolutely beautiful. So needless to say, that's something we had to do. In total, we probably drove around the entire island of Hawaii for, through with our rental car over the next few days, but this drive is so worth it. It's free. I mean, just driving around Hawaii is amazing. I did get a chance to throw the drone up here so you can see what the valley looks like and we started getting some great sun later in the day as you can see from the videos. It is so beautiful. I hope that you guys all like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ask any questions. See you next time. Bye guys!